for today i'm going to show you how to make this 1.5 inch ribbon version of the open pinwheel using the templates rather than freehand so on the 1.5 inch ribbon it's the four inch template and these will all be in the description below but i've got the sizes for centimeters and inch measurements from three inches down to one inches I had to adjust that one because uh, i had to work on my sizing but those will all be in the description for you and like i said this one is the um four inch template one and a half inches wide and we're using 42 centimeters and it's times two because we're going to do a colored one so if you want to do a single color like the original one you just use one if you want to do a color pop uh, one like this you use two colors let's move these out of the way so pop that in there First we're going to do is we're going to take our two ribbons that we've layered together like this and I'm going to take my lighter, these haven't been heat sealed before because they don't seal together like this very well, what you do in the blue clear bit of the lighter is heat your ends and then with your finger carefully, you don't want to burn yourself, pinch it till it's together like so and I also have a couple of clips this is purely to wrap it around the template so take your template and I turn it round and you want it so you can see your stitch guide you want it a bit a little bit below that and you want to take this roughly a centimeter over not too much just a centimeter over your stitch and then bring it round and make sure your ribbon is layered so you can't see the colour beneath. So like I said, make sure it's still that one centimetre over. And then take one of your clips and we clip that across like this. And then what I like to do from this corner to start working out your placement and everything like this, we fold it back. So it's completely folded back over the original. And again, just like to clip there, and then again, bring this over so it's right on the original fold on that side, and this is the look you will get. So, like I said, the other pieces are underneath like this we brought it completely round so it's at exactly the same angle nice and straight from the edge fold it back so it's back on top of that original ribbon clip for a second so we don't move it out of place and then bring that back over so that they're all laid on top of each other and then what you want to do with this one is you bring this up a centimetre. So just one centimetre up on this side. And then you can move that clip. Like I said, make sure that that's still round. And reclip it so that that's one centimetre up. And on this side, again, all you're going to do is slip that down the one centimetre and then move this clip make sure it's capturing all your layers and this is what the front will look like and this is what the back will look like and like I said make sure you've still got enough that you can do your stitches through here and then I'm going to take my thread and from above we want to go through all those layers that's one Two, three, four, five should be coming through that layer there. Catch it on the edge of your template, just move it up there. And your last one, 
from beneath number six. Should be going over this one and you want it to come up. through that edge there. Just untangle it. There we go. So in, one, two, out, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the back, you will have three. And I'll just take it off the template because you can slip it down now. And there you go. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then all you do is cinch. Obviously, with it being layered, it is going to take a little bit of squishing. So it will go like this. And then wrap it nice and tight round and again. And then stitch off in the back however you prefer. You should ask if you need to to go through those layers. Is that one? Cut that extra. Move our clips and our template and our needle out of the way. And as you can see. I say 42, so you've got a little bit to play with your tail, but you could do it a little bit shorter. It's entirely up to you. Like I said, I always give you that room so that if you mess up on your tail, you've got a little bit of breathing space to cut it down more. So I'm just going to add a clip. Like I said, you could probably get away with 40. Same with all the measurements. You could probably get away with about two centimetres or half an inch less. But like I said, I'd always prefer you to have enough to cut the tail down. Because like I said, you can't add the ribbon back on. And I'm going to do our 9mm for the centre. Again, heat seal the end. Open our clip. I'm going to wrap this around the centre twice, nice and tight, like we always do. Around one. Nice. Cut that extra off. Again, always heat seal. There we go. Drop of glue. And then I've got my slightly bigger, this is about one inch wide centre, and we're going to make an S shape like this. Take your lighter and then pinch it so it seals the end together. Now I'm going to do the other end and we're going to do it the opposite way. I'm just going to straighten this up. That's the opposite direction. Like this. And then you get the dip this side and the dip that side. And this is how you get your scrunch middle. So from the flat side, so here, a little bit of glue, take that round, yep. and then round, it's a bit much, so I'm just going to cut that down a little bit, again reheat seal, and again I normally do about three inches on these. Sometimes you need to cut them down depending on the style of the bow. And then we're going to wrap that round, glue this side. And then we're going to do a slight colour pop tail. So I'm just going to cut this down just a little bit. Like this. And then I think I'm going to cut not an awful lot. Just about half a centimetre more on the top one. And how to do my original? We're going to cut up in a, an angle. So 
flip it up so it curves like this and all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a straight angle to that point there and we're going to do exactly the same with this one cut it so it's a straight angle to that point and again heat seal your ends and this galaxy print ribbon is from Eva's bows and craft supplies and the heart ribbon is from love your crafts and both of those are in the description box as well along with all your sizes and like i said you've got all your different ribbon widths uh, sizes available i put the turn down so you know how many inches and centimeters to turn up or down to play around to get your different colors and like i said you can do it in your single colors you can do two layers and like i said you can do it freehand and you can do it with the template so you've got loads and loads of different ways you can do it and so many different ways you can do your center as well thanks for watching everyone bye